bacon cheeseburger from the Burger Bar Chicago. Right here on Michigan and Roosevelt. South Loop has transformed from industrial corridor to trendy neighborhood. Today it's known for its array of parks and museums, historic architecture, and of course, amazing food and drinks. From Nepal House and Harold's to Fat Poor and Motor Road Brewing Company, the South Loop is full of dope spots to eat, drink, and chill. Today we're checking out six highly recommended South Loop restaurants, so make sure you keep it locked until the end. Check it out, our first stop on a South Loop food tour is Burger Bar Chicago. It's right here on Michigan and Roosevelt. We got the bacon cheeseburger, which is double smoked bacon, hamburger patty. Actually, I think that might be Swiss on a brioche bun. This place is, is really highly recommended. Gotten all sorts of local awards, Chicago's best, yada, yada, yada. I'll be the judge of that. I am the burger genius. No, just kidding, not really. Mmm. Oh, let's get a close up of that. Mmm. It's really smoky. Good meat. There are onions on here too. The bread's good and soft. Mmm. The onions are really good in here. This is a good burger. The bacon cheeseburger from the Burger Bar Chicago. Right here on Michigan and Roosevelt. At the time we're filming this, Illinois has another ban on indoor dining. So that's why we're in our hotel room. We ordered from Ming Hen, which is a Chinese restaurant with a couple of different locations in Chicago. We obviously ordered from the South Loop location today. So what we have right here is some chicken with scallion and ginger, some salt and pepper squid, some choy sum, which is kind of like a Chinese broccoli, egg drop soup, and a few cartons of white rice. So this all looks really delicious. It smells great. I love Ming Hen. I've been there quite a few times. They make some really good, authentic Chinese food. But we're about to try all of this. I'll let you know how it is. It's about to try the salt and pepper squid, a favorite as we were growing up. They went light with the salt, just the right amount. A little bit of pepper you can taste in there and the batter is light. The squid flavor is perfect, not too fishy. <laughs> Chicken with scallion and ginger. The chicken is juicy. The scallion adds a nice bite to it. And the ginger, of course, adds a nice fragrance. Here we go with some salt and pepper squid. This has a good chew to it. It's not too overpowering as far as the flavor is concerned. I should have showed you a nicer piece. <laughs> this is the choice. So it's like a Chinese broccoli. Um, I think it's also known as a leafy green cabbage. It's stir fried, nice punch of garlic, very light and healthy. All right, we're gonna try the egg drop soup now. This is a really popular dish in Chinese restaurants. Mm, it's pretty good, good eggy flavor, good hearty broth. Ming Hen, it's a great restaurant. Support local restaurants, stop eating at those chain places, go local, especially in a time like this. Our second day in South Loop, we stopped at Little Branch Cafe for a nice brunch. We got a panini here with smoked salmon and cheese and a croissant sandwich with some ham and some cheese and some mustard. Came with potato chips. We also got a nice green drink here. A nice local spot right here on Prairie Avenue and 13th Street, right next to all these brand new luxury high rises like Nima and One Museum Park. This all looks really good. We also had a couple of espressos, but those are long gone. Now it's time to eat, so let's go. This is the smoked salmon panini. Mm. It's not every day that I have smoked salmon inside of a sandwich. It's usually either by itself or on a bagel, so it's really interesting. Got some spinach in there, a tomato, grilled bread. I like it, it's definitely different. Now we've got the croissant sandwich. Mmm. Nice and flaky. Super windy day today, but we still gotta eat. I think this is turkey, tomato and lettuce. Good spot, I recommend it. So it just so happens while we're filming this South Loop neighborhood guide, it's my birthday. So we're at Harbor, which is a local restaurant that serves up American fare, but tailored to the Great Lakes region. 
They brought us some Prosecco for my birthday. So cheers, happy birthday to me. First up for my birthday dinner is a nice order of oysters. It's nice and cold, got some lemon cocktail sauce. I cannot wait to try these oysters. Dinner at Harbor also included Triton Bay mussels with garlic bread on the side and the rotisserie chicken with potatoes and tomatoes on the side. Everything was incredible and it was a perfect birthday dinner. 11 City Diner is located on 11th Street and Michigan Avenue. It's a traditional diner slash Jewish deli. We got some takeout, some lox and bagel. We're gonna take this to a small park and eat a little breakfast. All right, here's what we picked up from 11 City Diner. Got a sesame seed bagel, some lox. This is the old school platter, so it's got cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, capers, olives, and a chive cream cheese. Larissa also got an everything bagel with chive cream cheese. This looks really good. Lox and bagel is a great way to start the day. So let's get into it. Got some cream cheese, a piece of lox on the top of the bagel. Nice crunch. That cream cheese is good. A lot of good flavor in it, and that smoked salmon is amazing. Really good. Maybe have a little tomato with that. Very, very good. We stopped at the patio at Spoken Bird, a nice local spot to grab some coffee and sandwiches. We got the turkey salad sandwich with some seasonal slaw right here. The Spoken Bird is a great spot to grab coffee or tea in the Prairie Avenue Historic District. We got a chai latte and a matcha latte ready to enjoy. <laughs> Let us know in the comments your favorite restaurant in this food tour and be sure to tell us what place we should check out next time we're in the South Loop. Thanks so much for watching. We out. Peace.